Hey, good morning, guys. This is your local neighborhood hope dealer over here at my mom's house up in Silver Lakes. Just woke up early trying to spread the good news. I'll be headed, me and my wife will be headed back down to San Diego today to get back to work tomorrow. But first, we're going to go to High Desert Church right here to get a little service in. You know, I'm just super happy. Had a wonderful Christmas, man. I hope you guys all had a wonderful Christmas. Um, just a beautiful day, you know, with the with the price tag switch back around and able to put the value in the things that matter. Let's start this devotional off with a little bit of prayer, all right, guys? Let's get this day off going, moving and grooving in a real way with the Lord, okay? Dear Heavenly Father, thank you, Lord, for everything that you do, Father, for you've changed our perspective, which is the biggest gift on the planet, Father, as now we are humble, Father, as you fill us with the fruits of the Spirit, we're now able to open up our eyes and see the earth in a whole nother lens, Father. And you will let us wander, Father. You will. But if, as soon as we choose you, you're standing right there and you grab us and you take us in and you show us grace. And this, that grace is the, one of the biggest gifts in the world because now we aren't punished or we not, are not condemned. And we are able to dance in your grace and find out who we are on this planet and who we are exactly supposed to be, which I believe is plan A, is to spread the good news on how you redeemed us father and we thank you lord for this in jesus name i pray amen amen guys amen so today a little bit of uh, the topic i want to talk about is the fiery the fiery uh the fiery arrows that the devil throws at you and how when you walk closer to the lord how you're able to um you're able to um detect these arrows it's you're able to see them better as you put the armor of god on you're able to detect them and you're able to avoid them you know that's why when you continue to walk with the lord life gets a lot better and the traps and the the, the, the deceit that the devil uses to try to take you out you can recognize it more guys and that's a huge gift in my addiction and pretty much my whole life without walking with the lord because i had no idea about this whole life right here i continue to just chase pleasures continue to just the rely on myself, rely on self and, and, and rely on pride and rely on all the things that we cannot rely on. Your ego is not your amigo. You understand this? So in my addiction or even before my addiction, whatever the devil used to try to take me out, I could not detect his arrows. He had these fiery arrows that, that were, were, they didn't have fire at that point. They were just straight the deceitful arrows that would come and bow, 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 just pelt my body until I was finally in a jail cell down in, on, down in Claremont, Ontario, uh, strung out on drugs, facing a felony and, and, and totally had, uh, lost every part of dignity and any type of goodness I had in my life. And my well had ran so dry. I was just an empty well of just sadness, guys. It's the only way I can look at it on my last day of my addiction. It was the most horrible thing on the planet. And now the most thankful thing that I've ever had because it gave me the gift of desperation that you can now soak into my heart, Lord, and now I can walk in a whole new light. And I'm so thankful for that. I'm so thankful for that, guys. But now going to the Salvation Army that connected me to my connector, guys, I learned so much about the Lord, all right? I learned a whole bunch about the Lord, and I learned a lot from Proverbs. So there's a lot of Proverbs that guide us on on the way to live life. They teach us how to what, what to do and what not to do. And as I continue to do these things in my life and do the next right thing and the next right thing after that, I've continued to do these things, and now I can see the devil's arrows coming at me because they're like this big, fiery fiery flame you know and i can dig i can i can recognize it before it gets there and i'm able to uh you know control my life you know and my guidance is my conscience i guide with my conscience and my integrity they say show me uh show me your habits and i'll show you your future so my habits have changed my habits are good doing good like i said i got my integrity back and now i'm able to uh, walk this line to where that i i get fulfilled every day my self-esteem is there um like i said my integrity is there and that's my guideline that i walk with and now I can see the fiery darts I can see the fiery arrows if they're coming at me and I can avoid them I can avoid them I believe in my mind I can recognize when the devil's trying to deceive me in my mind now I believe that I can recognize when the Lord is in my mind and I can believe I can recognize when it's me in my mind I, I, I believe I believe this now you know I've gone hard I've listened to sermons I've walked with the Lord now for two years and ten months and I've continued to want to seek 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 the living water guys and I love this and I love that because it never runs dry and I always have something to to look forward to every single day a constant newness in my life guys I got this uh my mom got me this devotional last night it's called uh Jesus calling right here 
I want to read a, a page out of it, day one, January 1st out of it, guys, and then we'll get our day started, all right? We'll have it, we'll enjoy our Sunday, the day of rest, all right, guys? And we'll just continue to walk with the Lord and continue to have a good attitude as we wait for the blessing so we can become the blessing, guys, all right? I'm going to read this first page. It's January 1st, okay? It says, come to me with a teachable spirit, guys, eager to be changed. We have to want change, guys. We have to want to be teachable. A close walk with me is a life of continual newness. Don't you love that, guys? Guys, everything that you will do will become new. Everything will be different, not that same old lifestyle. Do not cling to old ways as you step into a new year. Instead, seek my face with an open mind, knowing that your journey with me involves being transformed by the renewing of your mind. Your mind will be renewed, guys. As you focus your thoughts on me, be aware that I am fully attentive to you. Our Lord loves us. He's constantly focused on us all day long. He's like the best baseball coach I could have ever had in my entire life. I see you with a steady eye because my attention span is infinite. His intention span is infinite, guys. He sees what we cannot see. He sees what people are saying that we can't see what they're saying. He has put something in another person's heart, maybe uh, two cities away to, to where one day that person might bless you. We cannot see all the good things that he's doing. Be aware that I am fully attentive to you. I see you with a steady eye because my attention span is infinite. I know and understand you completely. My thoughts embrace you in everlasting love. I also know the plans I have for you. Plans to prosper you and not to harm you. Plans to give you hope and a future. Give yourself fully to this adventure. I love that word. Of increasing attentiveness to my presence, guys. And this is what I'm talking about. The third step. I continually turn my life over to the, go over to the Lord every single hour. And this keeps me on the right track, guys. So let's have a great week. It's going to be an amazing day today. We're going to be have great attitudes, right? And continue to choose the third step just for today. Today matters. Thank you, guys.